Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Cause we look out and we crazy. Coffee time, coffee time, coffee time. So that's thanking ass to go watch your goddamn coochie. How about that? How about that? Bright lights, bright city. With a lot of stinking asses up in the bitch. She always got to run her goddamn mouth. Little milk dud. Ain't nobody worried about that little crispy ass. She got a stinking mouth. And I bet her goddamn coochie stink too. How about that? That's why we lock the gates on that bitch ass. Always running her goddamn mouth. Always. Always running her mouth. She don't know how to fucking zip it. Trying to be relevant. Do a little ram today. Why not? Mm hmm. We're going to do some RAM. RAM Tuesday. G's Rams. How about that? I got to get the invite. Where are my girls at? Where's my girls at? Nobody worrying about you, Bill Good. That's why your ass is gone. You always try to come back. There's my sweet Karen. There's my sweet thing. What's up, Mikey? Good morning. What's up, Bama girl? Drama llama. I'm doing okay. What's up, Scottish? What's up, Anne Marie? Thank you for the memberships. What's up, Four Score? Hello, Tammy T. Hello, Cindy Lulu. What's going on, Mercedes Benz? I like Mercedes Benz. I like them a little bit better than BMWs. Hello, Tina. What's up, Les? What's up, Cheap Seats? What's up, Pago? What's up, Brother Saint? You up early. Thank you for blessing the room, as you always do. What's going on, Earth? Monkey boy. What's up, Jasper? Good morning, Fupa. Bama girl's here. Courtney's here. I ain't talking about Tina. I'm talking about Milk Dud. I'm talking about Miss fucking Crispy. Her mouth crispy. She crispy. Stinking ass coochie. What's up, GT? 
She's nothing but stank. What's up, Penny? That's why nobody wants her around. What's up, Corey Talks? What's up, Rainy Rain? Good to see you. Quit the noise, quit the noise. I ain't trying to hear your ass quack quack. About to put that ass in the goddamn closet. What's up, Jody girl? Mm-hmm. She about to go in the closet. Thank you for the membership, Tammy T. I love you, baby. What's up, Stitch? And Miss Tara. Much shout outs to the circus. Hello, Trister. I'll be home Friday at 2 o'clock p.m. What's up, Rolos? Love you, baby. What's going on, Jason? How are you? About to fucking regulate on these motherfuckers. That's what we're doing, because I'm back. Drama G's back. Mm-hmm. Velveteen Lace. My lordy, where you been, lady? Much love, Sammy. Good to see you, Rolos. Good to see you, Kimberly. Mm. Fucking cool, Nicole world. Her name ain't cool, Nicole. What's up, Larry? It should be stink. She stinks. Her coochie stinks. Her mouth stinks. And she stinks. Okay? And she's got a lot of fucking kahunas to be talking shit. You don't be talking shit on my tribe. You're going to be talking shit on my lionesses. You got it? I know. And I love everybody. Much love for all the support that I receive and all the prayers. And that's why I'm still alive. But unlike your stinking ass, milk dud, Isaac gave you the best name, Milk Dud. I'm going to call you Stink Dud because you stink. Your mouth stink. Your coochie stinks. You stink. You can't dance. And you're an idiot. How about that? Idiot. What's up, Whitney Coon? Much love to you. Honey. You're an idiot. Good job, Les. She's been obsessed with me for four goddamn years. Fucking Pagel. Fucking Pagel. You brought her here. I ain't forget. I ain't forget, Pagel. You brought her here. I still love you, brother. But you're an asshole. For bringing her here. Much love to you, Punky. What's up, Larry? And thank you again to my sweet Karen. Much love to you, honey. My sweet, 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 sweet Karen. And you jelly belly motherfuckers. She is my sweet Karen. How about that? Get jelly for your belly. You goddamn right it's Pagel's fault. He brought her here. Either he brought her here, four scores. One of them brought her here. And having a goddamn crush. All these goddamn crushes. What's up, Roach? Oh, my God.
You got damn right. What's up, Dom? Karen is no turd. She might be a turd, but she's a sweet turd. How about that? Don't be messing with my sweet Karen now. She'll whip that ass. Who's next? Fucking John Bunyan. Mr. Mark Terry. You know, I try to be cool with your ass. I don't talk about you. I've left you alone. Even though you stuck a dagger in my back over a hundred times. And I'm sorry that I'm not your friend, Mark. And I'm sorry that I just don't let you come on back. That ain't going to happen. Because you're a flip-flopper. What's up, Double J, Strong High Bull, baby? I gave you a wrench just to be nice so you wouldn't get blocked. Okay? I'm the motherfucker who should be talking shit on you every goddamn day, but I don't. Okay? I go on fucking, what's his name's channel for the first time? What's his name? Ernie Shell. Much respect to him, you know? I've never been there before, but he showed me respect. It was a good time. And you were on the panel. And you're fucking crying to him about, oh, G. Bango said he would rather die than, than be my friend. You're goddamn right. Because I don't fucking forget all the shit you did to me. And all my peeps. You don't know how to be somebody's friend, Mark. You're bored. You're bored. Now you got a new crew. You're bored. That's not my problem. That's a you problem. That ain't my problem. I told your ass, you fucking fuck with me. You do me wrong. You're going to be left out in the cold. What did I tell you? And you kept on flipping on me. And here you are again, flipping on me again. You send me a fucking message, oh, scratch it, take my wrench. You disrespected me on Ernie's fucking stream. How did I disrespect you, fuck nut? I didn't say nothing to you. Okay? I wasn't being a dick. Much love on the cash app. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Much love to you. Whitney, I love you, baby. I love my Whitney Coon. She's a good lady. You expect people to be cool with you. What's up, chick? Just like Isaac. You talk shit about Isaac, you talk about his kids, and then the next day you want to suck his dick. You think he forgot about that shit? Nope. You think Karen forgot about how you dicked her with fucking noodles? You pick noodles over sweet Karen. Everything she's done for you, you picked him over her. You picked him over all of us, and he ain't nothing but a piece of shit. And how many times do you go back and forth, back and forth, sucking his dick? Shame on you. Shame on you, Mark Terry. That's what you get. You play with fire, you're going to get burned. And your ass got burned. You fucked with Fupa. Oh, shit. Thank you, Foops. Speaking of the devil, look at everything that Fupa did for you, and you fucked her. Everything Karen did, you fucked her. Everything I did, 
You fucked me. Julia just didn't like you from the start. Okay? She never liked your ass. Never. I had to kiss Julia's ass to bring your ass back there to hang out with us. Everybody left because your ass will come in. And you tell people that you hung out with us back in the rooms, watching movies and watching games with me and Duke and Mikey. Bullshit. Bullshit. You came and hung out with us for five fucking minutes, did your window shopping, and you left and you went and go live. You fucking liar. What's up, Eva? And how many chances did I give you, Mark Terry? Huh? How many chances did I give your ass? How many friends did I lose because of you? A lot. A lot. What's up, Quindarius? How much bullshit did I hear from Stitches because I brought you back? And Stitches wasn't the only one that I had to hear shit from. I heard it from everyone. Lindy, Whiskey, Stitches. Elizabeth Hill, I don't know who you are, but thank you very much. I never heard you saying anything bad about me. I don't know who you are. What's up, K-Punk? Good to see you. What's up, Cactus? I'm just trying to take some dabs, man. On a Tuesday fucking afternoon. Much love to you, Les. What's up, Tater Toddies? And Taylor, I don't know what's going on with you, but I see that you blocked me. I don't got no animosity with you. I got no drama. But I hope you're behaving. I don't know what's going on out there. But all I'm just telling you is keep it real and be honest, like I told you since day one. What's up, Evo girl? I love you, Les. You're a good lady. You're a good woman, Les. That's why I've always respected you. You better leave Karen alone there, Jasper. Okay, good. I don't want to be blocked. I don't block nobody. I don't take people's wrench. But I took your fucking wrench there, Marky Mark. You told me to take your wrench away, so I did it. Okay, Elizabeth Hill. Be quiet, quack, quack. God damn, I'm trying to stream, and she's over there yelling again. Nurse, nurse. They put her in the fucking closet last night. There's my jewels. I didn't think you'd be up. I thought you'd be asleep. What's up, Magda? I told him he'll be out in the cold. Oh, my Lord. Now I'm getting phone calls. Yes. Hey, Brent, what's going on? No, don't apologize. I... Yes. And and the and the first one as well. Oh, you're the best.
Did I ever say how awesome you are? You're the best. Much love to you. Yes, because she definitely goes above and beyond for me. Her and Gloria are like awesome. Yes. Thank you so much, Brent. Much love to you. Bye. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to miss my ass when I leave here, I'll tell you that. Oh, they're going to miss me. Even you, quack, quack. Boy, am I not going to miss your goddamn old ass. Please. I know I ain't going to be here when I'm 93, but good Lord almighty. When I get old, God, I do not want to be like that. Hell no. Mm. How do you like that city, baby? New York, New York. All right. What was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, let me get the link. New York, New York. All right. What's up, Daria? Toodles. Sean the Brit? I don't see Sean the Brit. Where's Sean the Brit? You being nice, Jasper? Oh, there's Sean. Julia. R.V. Davy is a convicted, oh my God. You gone, R.V. Davy. You gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, Sean. Who the fuck is R.V. Davy? Get him out. Get him out. He fucks with kids. Get him out. Much love, Daria. What's up, Trisha G? I love you, baby. What's up, Ray Ray? Get him out. R.B. Davy. Fucking with kids. Fucking with my kids, you'll get a fucking slug right in the dome. How about that? 45, to be precise. Okay? Fucking with kids, you gone. Gone. Shame on you. You belong on a goddamn cross. How about that? Good, good job, Sean. Get him out. Get him out. What man would fucking... I'm not even going to talk about it. Good job, Sean, get him out. So back to Mark Terry. Not that I want to talk about you, but I'm sorry that your ass hurt, Mark. And I know what you want to do. You just want me to bring you back so you can go back on your fucking channel. Hi, hi, everybody. I told you I'll be back over at home base. Where's Joe King at? Take his channel, Joe King. Take his channel. That's what you want, Mike, Mark. That's what you want. You want to come back here so you can rub it in. But Mark Terry, I ain't no sucker. And maybe you did me wrong over a hundred times and I allowed you. And it was my fault, like I told Stitch. It wasn't your fault. It was my fault. Because I allowed you.
to continue to come back because I'm a sucker and I give people chance after chance after chance. Yes, thank you, Tay Tay. I appreciate it. I sent you a message, Tam. I don't know if you got it. I always thank people for helping me out and I appreciate it. It will go to the fourteen hundred fucking dollars that I owe these motherfuckers. I think I'm just going to give them five bills and make payments. But yes, every bit helps, and I appreciate it. I don't know if I should have stayed another week, but I had to. I don't want. I didn't want to stay here for another week. I wanted to go home, but I'm not able to go home a week ago. And I'm still not able, but I have to, because I can't afford 200 fucking dollars a day. And it's all about the money. Unfortunately, I'm not physically ready to go back, but I have to go back because my insurance only covers 23 days and I surpassed the 23 days. You know? And I can't keep affording fucking $200 a day. No, Sapphire, we don't mess with fucking kids. Hello, Colleen. Are you kidding me? I got three boys. Who in the fuck allows people to fuck with kids? What community? Be nice, Rachel. What's up, Carrie? Be nice. What's up, Miss Amy? Much love to you. What's up, Anne Marie? Be nice. Better be nice to Magda. I'll tell you, Jasper. You better be nice to these women. You got it? But. Yeah, Julie is a hard bitch. Julia is hardcore. She's a fighter. And I turned her into a butterfly, into a killer bee. Okay? When Julia came on this motherfucker, she was quiet. She wouldn't say shit. And she was fragile and sensitive. Shit. Go ask her what I did with her in 30 days. She's a tough bitch now. She don't take no shit. She speaks her mind, and she'll tell you, fuck you, if she has to. Okay? That's what I did for my jewels, and you can go ask her. I fucking put Julia in training, bitch. School of hard knocks. And she passed. Fuck with Julia now and see what you get. She ain't no fucking butterfly no more. I'll tell you that. Calm down, Magda. Calm down. You ignore Jasper all the time, huh? Damn, I'm all over the place. It's all about the dollars. All about the money. But Mark Terry, what's up, Quinny? Love you, lady. Much love to you, Quinny. Thank you for being real. Thank you for always having my back, Quinny. We ain't doing no 26 liner right now, poops. We'll do the 26 later. What's up, Consumer 13? What's up, Nix? You smell a rat? Uh-oh. What's up, boss? 
What's up, heaven sent? I don't like no fucking rats. We get rid of rats. There's always a rat around. Always a fucking rat. Always. We get rid of rats. We get rid of them. I don't fuck with them. I had a fucking rat that turned me in. I knew the motherfucker since the goddamn third grade. And he ratted me out. He gone. He gone. Briala. Mm. Yeah, the chat is fine. I can barely keep up. Oh, man. People just don't want to fucking learn. They want to play hardball. You ain't playing hardball with me. Not happening, bro. Not happening. So I hope you're happy with your new click, Mark Terry. Take care, Twister. You have a blessed day. I'll be home Friday, bro. Friday, 2 o'clock. There's always a fucking rat. They're all a bunch of fucking rats. Dirty fucking rats. Right, Courtney? I'll be home Friday. Pussy popping, pussy prepping. Sounds good. Thank you, Quinny. I appreciate those who have my back. I just keep it real. I might forgive, but I don't forget. You know what I mean? And I'm sorry, Mark Terry, that you're butt hurt because I won't be your friend. And that's what it boils down to. And you're fucking unhappy because you're not back on home base. Well, I can't have you back, Mark Terry. I don't trust you. You're a snake in the grass. That's right, my sweet Karen. You are a snake in the grass. Okay? God damn, this chat is rolling. I got to get. Thank you, Jasper. Jasper, be nice to the woman. Be nice. Be nice. Her vagina walls will fall out by, oh my Lord. That's right, Colleen. We ain't fucking around. Wash, rinse, repeat, like Sean the Brit says. Wash, rinse, repeat. Okay? Everyone is hyped to see you. I hope so, Daria. I'm back. And I'm tired of fucking around. I'm tired of fucking around with these motherfuckers. Call them out. Call them out. He sends me a message. Oh, gee, give me a wrench. I'm getting blocked for nothing. So what do I do? I give him a wrench so he doesn't get blocked. Rachella keeps you in line. It ain't Berg's fault. What's up, Draft Horse? Finally, it's a fuck Berg's. I'll get on him later. Fucking fat fuck, 55 piece of shit. Bob's big boy taking money from children. And you buy fucking alcohol for underage kids, you dumb fuck. You belong to go to jail. You need to be in prison, fat boy. Maybe they'll put your ass on a goddamn diet. That's what you need. 
you fucking used to yell at fucking Jill because you couldn't tie your own goddamn shoes. Well, whose fault is that? Chunky monkey? You're chunky. You're overweight. You fucking piece of shit. You made over $6,000 off my girl, Jelly Joe. Shame on you. Miss Lindy has a memorial. Fucking Steve Billings tells her, vouches for you to come up and say a nice word about you and Jill, and you couldn't come up with one. What's up, brother coach? Hope you're feeling better. I'm all over the place, I know. I'm all over the place. He's in a goddamn garage. He's 50 years old and he's in a garage and that's why he got divorced. That's why the lady left him in fucking three months. He got divorced. She gone. What's up, Gidge? She gone. She left his ass. Who would want to wake up with a goddamn Sasquatch laying next to you? Could you imagine the stink on him? Thinking the stink on Milk Dud. Think about the stink on his ass. Shit. Who in the hell would want to wake up next to him? Shame on you, 55. Shame on you. And and Boris was right. You got a dead channel. Your channel has died. Died. It's dead. Dead. What's up, Cody? Good to see you, homie. Shame on you, 55. You, you killed yourself. You did that to yourself, 55. You killed your own channel because you're a piece of shit. That's what you are. You're doo-doo brown. Doo-doo brown. Mikey knows. You want some fishies? And then I'll send some links. And then we'll go back to ramp because I'm not done. It's going to be a long afternoon for your ass, 55. What do you all want to see? Let's see where the fish is at. Damn, this bed is comfortable. I wish I could take this bed. Actually, I miss my own goddamn bed. This bed is not comfortable for being a hospital bed, I'll tell you that. Johns Hopkins bought me the best bed back in the day. Shit's getting better. New York, New York. You want to feed the fishies? Let's feed the fishies. Where's little Nemo? I saw Nemo somewhere. He gone. Nemo gone. Bye-bye, Nemo. New York, New York. I got my little pen here that I use. But it's a lot easier than working my fingers. Quiet down, quack, quack. My God, she's still fucking yelling. Last night they had her in the closet. All right, let me send these links. Oh, shit, they're banging out there. I'm doing this shit upside down. How about that?
upside down and round and round. Upside down, round and round. Oh, Lordy, take my wrench. All because you can't get your way. You think you can just fuck me over a hundred times and come back in this bitch like fucking shit. You must be crazy. I might forgive Mark Terry, but I don't forget. You got it? I don't forget. And you fucked the wrong one. My camera's on. Damn, I thought my camera was on. My bad, B. You fucked the wrong one. Yeah, I don't want to be blocked. I don't block nobody. Except for fucking Milk Dud. Milk Dud, you blocked. You're gone. Don't try to come back either. You got a lot of fucking Tootsie Rolls to come back here, Milk Dud. Thinking you're wanted around here. After all the people you fucking doxed. My God. I can't go over all the women that you, you fucking. It all started with Ray Chella. Ray Chella was the first fucking victim because she sent a heart. I sent a heart to Ray Ray and you got all jelly. What's up, Vegas? Vegas is a victim. Ray Chella was the first victim. Savage, pirate, rainbow. How many other people did you fuck? Everybody knows your goddamn game there, Milk Dud. That's a good name that Isaac gave you. I love it. Milk Dud. That's a good one. Call your ass crispy. I might just call your ass burnt toast. How about that? Cheap seats. Remember that, uh, Vegas? We're talking about everything. What up, Rebel Soul? That's my problem. I, I, I got ADD. I can't focus on one thing. If I could only focus on one goddamn thing, right? What's up, Eric? Yeah, she dirty, dirty. She extra crispy. How about that? And she is the biggest race baiter. Boy, did Mikey shoot, shoot that one right on the head. She is nothing but a fall. Oh, there you are. What's up, Ernie Shell? Good to see you, Ernie. Lightning Tiger. I like that. Lightning Tiger. And I want to say thank you again, uh, Ernie, for the for the hospitality that you showed me on your stream the other night. And I'm sorry that Mark Perry's got a problem with me, but you can ask everybody. He's a real snake in the grass. And I don't know what I did to him. He said I disrespected him on your panel. And I don't believe I did disrespect him on your panel because I wasn't going to go to your channel the first time on your stream and start World War III with Mark Terry. I don't do that. And you can ask everybody. That's not how I roll. Okay? You were nice enough to give me a link. And I wasn't going to go on your channel and be disrespectful and put out our issues with Mark fucking Terry on your channel. It's not your, your problem. Okay? The problem is all his. He's the one who's got a problem with me. 
beloved ghost. You yeah, should have kept your mouth shut, Mark Terry. Yep, New York, baby. What's up, Philly? But I appreciate it. What's up, Carlos? But I appreciate it, Ernie, again. And I'm sorry that Mark Terry has an issue with me. But I wasn't going to go on to your channel for the first time and fucking have a war with Mark Terry because he's fucking fucked over 60% of the side chat. Okay? You don't need those problems. I know how it is when you have a strain and people come over there and they shit on your lap like fucking Stitches said. It's not us. It's the people that come here and put the shit on our laps. Ain't nobody taking over, boy. As far as I'm alive. How about that? I've been down this motherfucker since day one. I'll tell you that. We get rid of the trash real fast. All the OGs are gone. You only got a few left. Me, whiskey, blue waffles. That's the best you're going to get. Fucking Bergs, you ain't OG. When you were knocking, we fucking kicked you out. Nobody wanted you in the rooms. That's the facts. Me, Jay, Greg, Ellie, and all the others. Cooper, we didn't want you in. Rosie, we booted you. Every time you came in, we booted you because it was funny as fuck. Vinny G, OG. If you're listening, Benny G, what's up, brother? I haven't seen you in a while, and I hope all is well. What's up, Robin? I miss Benny G. All the OGs are gone. They all gone. Half of them died. But again, I wasn't going to bring no drama to your channel there, Ernie. And I'm sorry that Mark Terry's got issues with me, but I'm not going to bring him back to home base and have him go on his channel and fucking tell everybody, oh, I told you all, I'll be back. That's why he wants to come back to home base, not because he wants to be friends and be friendly with home base. He wants to come back so he can rub it in. But I don't forget all the people you fucked over. Karen, Fupa, me. Now, Rachella, she's different. You fucked her over too. But she's your friend. She, forgive, she forgave you. Not everybody is Rachella. And I'm sorry, Ray Ray. What's up, Lexi Lou? Love you, baby. And I'm sorry, Ray Ray. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Duke's going to be missed, man. Real motherfucker. Fucking Duke. I can't think about it because I'm going to have a breakdown. Nomadic fanatic. Boy, I ain't seen your ass in a while. He ain't no fucking king. But I'm sorry. Not everybody's Ray Chella and fucking overlooks what you did. Because if I was Ray Chella, I would say, fuck you. Kick sand. Kick rocks. Because I wouldn't have forgiven you. 
you tell me that I allowed my dog to eat my 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 son's face for an insurance check, and you think I'm going to get over it? No. It, uh, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good, Ernie. I'm not going to lie to you. I would lie. I would be lying to you if I tell you I felt good. Physically, I'm fucked. I'm beyond critical condition. If that's really what you want to, that that's, that's what the doctor said. I'm beyond critical condition. But I'm a fighter. And I got three boys to live for. And that's the only reason why I'm alive. Because if I wasn't alive, if I, if I didn't have a Ernie, I would have checked out a while ago. Because this ain't fucking living. This is misery. Live in hell. And when you die, you go to fucking heaven. This ain't fucking peaches and cream. You know, sometimes I just get tired of struggling, living the same life. But I got all these good people that keep me in check. And I know there's a lot to live for. You know, I'm lucky to have friends. The friends that I have, I'm very lucky to have. I'm lucky to have these people because they've been with me since day one. I know heaven. And that's the reason why I'm alive. My kids and everyone you see in my side chat, Ernie, that's who I ride for, my brother. I do it for the peeps. That's why they call me the people's champ. And I will always be the people's champ. That's why everybody's got wrenches. People say, gee, why has everyone got wrenches? Because I give people all... I give people the right to say what they want. When I used to go to streams and I was honest and I gave them my two cents, I would get timed out. I would be fucking blocked. My messages were deleted. So I said, fuck that. I'm going to fucking wrench everyone. These people deserve to be heard. You can go say, yo, fuck you, G. What's up, chiming in? Oh, man, I ain't seen your ass in a while. Chiming in. Oh, gee. What's our brother Ace? McDonald's, Taco Bell. We got it all. I live like a fat fuck, like what's her name said. She don't fucking know. You want to know what my lunch is? For all those people... Look at it. Ain't nothing sad about me, baby. You want to see my food? Here's my lunch. And I didn't even eat today. Lunch. There's my salad. That's what I eat every day. Salads. A lot of greens. A lot of greens is what I have. People want to assume shit. They think they know every goddamn thing around here. Every time you assume, you make an ass out of yourself. How about that? Shit. I'm telling you. Much love to you, Rolos. Fuck that toasty bitch. She's around talking shit. Okay? Just like Mikey said, she's a race baiter. Everybody races. Bitch, you don't like white people. That's your goddamn problem. But you want to fuck white people. How the fuck does that work? You don't like white people. You think every white person is racist. 
but you want the white cock. Can you explain that to me? How come every dude you like is white? They're not African American, but they're white. Shame on you. Shame on you, no good. I'll be goddamn you come at my fucking crew. You don't be talking shit to the lionesses. Not today, not tomorrow. You got it or not. And Tina D, thank you for apologizing with the Duke Landry. I appreciate it. Stink. Yeah, she's her coochie stinks, her mouth stinks, and it, it all stinks, Les. She's a stinking rot individual who is a race baiter. And she, what's up, Brock? Much love to you, lovey. Thank you again, Miss Brock. I'm very lucky. Very lucky. I'll tell you that much. Fuck that bitch. She want to talk shit to me. She's been talking shit on me for three, four goddamn years. Okay? She's been obsessed with me. And she's still obsessed. The bitch watches me like fucking, like a hawk. Like a hawk. What's up, B? Good to see you, Boston girl. She's doxxed every fucking body on here. Everybody. What's up, Connie? She don't like white people. Every, all the white people are, are prejudiced. We're all racist. But that bitch ain't racist, right? I ain't never seen a racist bitch on here. And I've been in this bitch since the beginning. And that bitch is racist. She's a race baiter. And we don't fucking allow this bitch to come around. She gone. She'll never be back. And you know what's sad, Mark Terry, is that you joined the list. You made the list. You made the list with Crispy. With fucking Toto. With fucking stinking Coochie. You, and, and you're happy about that? All the people that you fucking disrespected, you fucked over less? Me? Karen, Fupa, Julia. How many more names have you fucked over, Mark? You think you can just fuck over these people and just say, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And if you're going to drag me, drag me, bro. You can drag me as much as you want. You dragged me for two goddamn years. Did I get butthurt about it? No. What did I do? I ghosted your ass. I ghosted you. Because you're irrelevant. Look at the shit what you said about Tara. Oh, thank you. Much love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the PayPal. Fucking quack quack. I'm telling you. I put up with her every goddamn night. That's for sure. Hold on, it's, it's dab time. You disrespected Miss Amy. You fucked over Fupa. And again, I'm sorry, but we're not all Ray Chella. And I'm sorry, Ray Ray, to call you out. 
but we're not all Ray Ray. We're not going to just overlook it, accept your apology, and be your friend again. That's I'm sorry. I can't do that. You tell everybody that I jerk off in front of my kids when Jake calls my ex-wife? Who says shit like that? Who talks like that? To bring up my kids. To bring up Isaac's kids. And I'm sorry, Mark, but I can't overlook that. I live for my kids. I will die for my kids. And I'm sorry, but I can't overlook the shit you've done. Oh, God bless it. Hold on. Well, I lost fucking volume or something. How come it's not? Oh, man. Are you in here, Stitch? How come I can't hear anything? Are you there, Stitch? What's going that, on, G? I'm trying to get this volume checked. Am I, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. I can hear you. Chiming in. I ain't seen chiming in in a long time. I know you did, Fupa. Do what, Karen? Wow. I can't look the shit that you said, Mark Terry. Look at what you what you said about Tara. Look at the shit you talk about every goddamn person. You're so nasty. And you go below the belt. Fucking Tara fights for her life. She fought for her life going through treatments. Look what I've gone through. And you bring up my kids. And you expect us. Look what you did to Les. Look what you did to Karen. And I'm sorry. I can't forgive you. And I'm not going to overlook it. And again, you want to make everyone feel bad. You want to feel bad and play victim. Oh, Ernie, G said that he would rather die than me come back on his panel. No. I said I would rather die than be your friend again. And I meant it. I mean it. What's up, Cactus? And I'm not going to let go. And for you to sit there on panel and cry me river to Ernie because I said it, you want to play victim. What the hell are you doing, Bob? You want to play victim. That shit ain't going to work with me, Mark Terry, because you know what you did to everyone. The shit you say about Boston girl. Boston girl, Bridget, she don't bother you. She doesn't bother you. What's up, Stitch? What's up with your audio? What's going on, G? You can't hear me? I can hear you now. What are you doing? Playing golf. Again? I'm playing golf. What's up, Raj? How are you doing? I'm okay. You think we can do a little bit of stretching on your hand? You can do it. Hey, Stitch, give me one minute, okay? Can you take over, Stitch, for two minutes? Oh, I can drag people until you come back? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Take over. I'll be right back. All right. Who needs a dragon? I'm here to drag. Well, how's everybody doing today? Um, I got two things going on. I'm in the golf game and I'm in the G thing. So, well, Cindy Talks, Rebel Soul, how y'all doing? 
I'm here by myself. <laughs> Drag Mark and Tina and Steve and Lena stitches. Wow. That's a lot of dragging right there. Well, uh, Steve and Lena have been kind of quiet, you know. Uh, Mark, I, I haven't really been paying attention to him, so I don't know. I, I didn't know that he was uh, back to talking shit about G, I, but I suppose he is. Um, Captain Jack says, Stitches, what the hell happened in Pagels? Well, Nick the Nazi, y'all know who Nick the Nazi is? He, um... Is, is back to lying, you know, how he usually does. When his mouth is moving, he's lying. Um, so that's what that deal was all about, you know. That's a whole drag show. Yes. Well, I mean, you know. Nick still, he's back trying to be, he's ban evading for one thing. That's how he got gone last time doing the same shit he's doing now. And, um, fucking saying, um, so I guess he come back to try it again. I don't know. Yes, chicken. That's who that is. Jesse and Nick, the Nazis. Yeah, I don't know, Brie Allen. Um, you know, I hope you still ain't playing with guns, you know. Ain't too smart to play with a gun and shoot yourself in the hand. Could have been worse. Could have been in the head. Just waiting at the bus depot to toss people. Right? Exactly, Magda. Yeah, his wife had to... You know, they did the whole thing where his wife had to swastika stickers on her nipples, and then they had the one stream where they had the black face. You remember that, Magda? Yeah, I know I'm missing some comments in the chat, but I'm trying to play golf. I probably should just chat because I ain't playing golf for a damn. I mean, Karen's beat me. That where did uh where did Rachel go? Oh, I didn't see your name on the thing. All right, let's see. I have images from Nick's racist Discord too. He has all yes, yes. You know, and and he's he's another one of those that thinks he's being edgy and cool and for the shock factor. You know, he's another Mark and Abe all wrapped into one hateful little fuck. You know. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? We know Stitches. Karen already uh, told us you suck at golf. Yes. <laughs> yeah. She don't want to play putt-putt, though. She quit playing that with me. Remember last time? Mark will never find uh, someone like me that was loyal, helpful to him like Julia is to you, Mangos. He knows this. Yeah, exactly, Les. Exactly. Yeah, he don't care, though, um, Les. See, that's what the problem is. 
And that's what's the bad thing is about it because, you know, he actually had people that actually cared for him, but he don't care about anybody but himself. Well, I mean, I don't know about that. Keep it real about holding my own. Kinky Kim says, I play golf at my golf club. Okay. Splash, splash. What are you in the, you, what are you, you always in the water, uh, Kinky Kim? Splishing and splashing. Karen usually does that in the water. Uh, a roll, no roll -o, so I haven't had any hole in ones yet. Right. Well, thank you, Ripple Soul. I appreciate that. I know G had to send out more links than just to me. Uh... Right. Well, at least I'm not last, uh, you know. <laughs> so what's everybody been up today? It's Tuesday. I'm not usually um, around on Tuesdays this time. hard here for it. It's like it's tight in here. You got the top layer of your skin here, right? Well, hello, Stella. The top how layer? are you? What is Kathy this? Rebuilds, how you What's doing? This? What do you get that? It was. It was. Oh, okay. I popped them. You get blisters like you, that Mike. on your hands? No, it's first time. Never had them before. Because it was really wet. So you're back That's now, why. G, huh? She said, just let it air out and you'll be okay. The wound people saw them Monday. Debbie. But why didn't you give them? I don't. First time. No, you have it here too. Well, yeah, but it's first time. I never got did, them before. Did they say why? Never got them before. I don't know why. Okay. Can you bend it in now straight? Good. Okay. And down. Yeah. There you go. Like that? Yep. Go down and why? up. I'm not paying. Uh, I'm not paying attention to all that. All right. I've right. never had movement like. I mean, it's improved. Yeah, it's a little bit better. So, if if they get to do for a few days, you'll be good. But I think that's uh, that thing should probably help you to keep it open a little longer. Look, and man, then once golf, you have that to the peeps, on, and you after you take it off, the finger will stick too. straight. Really, I mean, how many things <laughs> yeah, you think I best can do opportunity in the morning. Well, you, you need to learn how to multitask. Okay. From the side. Now I'm getting yeah. yelled at by Rachel. If you do this, this part oh, yeah, right. is a little turn. bit tight. Part will get a little bit looser. And eventually this tightness will go away for you. The natural tendency is your hand goes I mean, it doesn't like matter this. if you swing or not. You're you still on left. Like oh, no, you're not last yet. Not <laughs> and then you want to bend them straight. Right. So there you go. And then open them. Yep. Keep this one straight. Don't bend the tips. You see that, nope. stitches? Okay, wait a minute. What happened? Can you do like this? I was pretty close. Yeah, just like that. There, you see that one? 
it's a little harder to control. You see? Yes. And that is yeah, what that's the muscle you want to pick up on because that's me. weaker. Oh. They all work together. Oh, yeah, those three muscles. So you're trying to work on that? one particular muscle. Oh, that's a good shot. And this is different. So you want to work on right, this right, muscle. Right, right, right. I mean, if you this play like that from the start, you might this be better off different. than you are, right? So you want to work on this one a little bit more. Because <laughs> you know, yeah, you're talking so many stitches. That's why you're at plus 14. Yeah, this one needs to be that. Oh, did they do the dressing today? Yes. It's a little bit light <laughs> dressing today. It's not like you might need to play right? Papa. <laughs> I told him to go easy around the knuckles. Don't cover my knuckles, I told him. And the other thing is this not boss. You could use a smaller boss. Okay. Like, I don't know who is going to come and dress you. You could tell them, get a, like, a, the half uh, size this one. I think it's called oh, small the small one. <laughs> we don't carry all that because we're not specialized for hands and all. We all carry standard this one here. Oh, Lord. So good. But, yeah, like, a, there is almost like a half size of this one. And you can buy it at Walgreens for, like, 4 or $5. Well, not, each I can't multitask. Now, the thing is, with you, good. you have to have a fresh one every time. You can't reuse it. If not, we could buy once and keep it, but it's not the case. You have to oh. throw it away yours. You don't want to keep any of the infection material with you. Remember right. that. Right. Yeah, that's the only thing I didn't do for a long time. Well, moreover, you couldn't do it when it was still healing. When it was healing, right? Right. It was like, uh, I don't know. you couldn't do anything from it. Stitches, your co-host. Can you mute Jay? I couldn't touch it before. I don't know if he wants them to hear uh, all this. But after I'm... So you going to entertain the peeps now, uh, Karen? Oh, you are too, fucker. Oh. <clears throat> oh, thank you. I, didn't, I don't know if he wanted to hear that. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to what they were saying, so I didn't... I don't know. Yeah. It's a doctor or a physical therapist, someone. Oh, okay. All right, let's see what... Uh, since the golf game's over with. Look at that. Karen's second. Stitches third. Blah, blah, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> No stitches. Get rid of Tiger Woods. No, I'm not playing no more right now. You are. You're playing putt putt. Lord have mercy. Y'all are killing me. Yes, we are. Hello, Bridget. Oh, is is it a does she need to be uh Does she need to be admitted? <clears throat> admitted <clears throat> or committed? Oh, fuck, it's Larry. Hi. <laughs> fuck. It's you. Yeah, it's me. So, um... All right, Larry, it's your turn to entertain Sorry about no, your Jasper. Not my turn. <laughs> your turn. Did you sing us a song? I don't know any songs. We'll figure one out. Uh, well, you're, gonna, you're learning guitar, right? Yeah, but that don't involve singing. <laughs> Got it. Can you hit the ready button? Hi, Rebel. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Eva, Elizabeth. There. You know, you need to uh, slow your roll there. Okay? No, ma'am. You're not going to slow your roll? <laughs> Kinky kill. <laughs> <laughs> right, keep it real. Oh, I guess we're boring. 
Who's boring? We are? Yeah. Boring! I mean, they can come up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, any of y'all could come up and, you know, put the spice of life in it. Ace. And Mikey. Yeah, Ace and Mikey. Yeah, if they came up, we could just quit talking, couldn't we? Right. <laughs> All right, Les, you have a good one. Goodbye, that son. Thank you, Chain. I hope G knows he's mute and he ain't like ain't sitting there talking to him. <laughs> he's probably like, one at a time, I said, quit talking over me. <laughs> <laughs> Why these fucking people ain't listening? That would be pretty funny, though. <laughs> Listen, Miss Julia. Sweet Julia. CG is back. I can see him, but I don't know if he's talking to us. Well, I can see part of him. You muted, Mr. Mangles. <clears throat> what in the hell are y'all doing here? I can hardly hear you, Stitches. What's up with your mic? I hear him good. Turn your shit up. I have no idea, Larry. Oh, I hear him. I hear that good. No yelling, Larry. I wasn't yelling, Rebel. Is my mic, mic too close? Bye, Mikey. Later, Mike. I'm trying to figure out where we're... I'm trying... <laughs> <laughs> what the well, fuck? We're supposed to be playing... Put put, but it gave me a driver. All right. So you, you gotta change it. it. Hello, you change it to a putter. A wedge. You gotta change it to a putter. Oh, yeah, hit the down oh. button. Hello. Hello, Ken. Hey, What's hey, up, Jay? Hey, hey. What's up, brother? Oh, I had my uh physical therapy on my fingers. On my hand that they did surgery on. He comes every day, <laughs> works out my works on my hand and my tendon and all that shit. I want to have physical therapy come to the house mm -hmm. uh, every day to work on my hand because I did three surgeries and the motherfucker hurts. And uh, I'm trying to get back to normal as fast as I can. So I'm going to have them come out to the house every day. That's good. Yeah, if the insurance pays for it, why not, right? Yep. That was my dude, Raj. Careful, Karen. There's a rock right on the other side of that bush. <laughs> I want to try and hit it on this wall. What's going on, Larry? Uh, not a lot. Dominating the golf, as usual. I <laughs> hit. You're playing golf again? Every yes, day. Yes, we are. <laughs> you all play every day, don't you? Every day, yeah. Well, I don't play every day, G. Just yes, sometimes. you No, I don't. I haven't played since the last time. Yeah, it's been a while. And it showed today <laughs> when his ass lost. <laughs> I'm trying to do it the right way. I got physical therapy coming. Normally, I wouldn't have them come out. The good thing you but, came back. They were saying we were boring, G. They said you were boring. Yeah, yeah I might boring. be an ace. You're not boring. They were mean to us. Boring. They were. Like a snooze fest up here. I appreciate it, everybody. I'm trying to do the right thing and get back on track. They got me a brace. They're going to... Homeboy. Homeboy. Look, found, that's where I'm in it. Sorry, G. Homeboy found me a brace for 15 bucks. It's nice. Gee. I got to wear it because normally these bitches are expensive, but <laughs> I got to wear a brace every day for like three, four months, but it's okay. It's not a big brace. Just goes around one finger and my way and my wrist. But um I got an aid coming. 
She's going to help me go grocery shopping, blah, blah, blah. I got a physical therapist. I got an OT therapist. I got a nurse to change my dressing every day. So, yeah, I think I'm on the right track. Seventy one degrees. Damn. I wish it was seventy one here. I mean, you go hit what? the ball sometime today, Larry. What? I'm trying to send somebody a link. This some bitch should be decomposed the time you hit it. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. Maybe I could just shoot through the trees. <laughs> Maybe not. What are you doing, B? <laughs> Boston girl. I think that's Boston girl. Yeah. What are you doing, B? She gone. <laughs> she gone. She gone. Oh, my God. Who is oh, that? Oh, Lord, have mercy. That's Bridget trying to figure out the internet still. What's up, Blue? <laughs> yeah, they'll be by Waffles. They're going to be coming three times a day. Now unmute. Unmute. Yeah, heaven, that's what I'm doing. Why did uh Karen leave? I don't know why Karen left. She's unsociable. Damn. What? You're right, Rolos. JB. Get it together, Boston girl. Right, Bridget. Get your act together. <laughs> Did she leave again? <laughs> yes. I think she's trolling us, G. I think she's trolling. Yeah. Oh, Lord my God. have mercy. Get your life together, girl. I'm trying to play golf here, and you making me work. Right. Larry and Stitchers are in a big tournament for a hundred k. And Karen, it's actually putt putt golf. We figure we didn't want to. This is harder than regular golf. I think Karen's gonna win. Uh What's up, Kathy Rebuilds? Much love to you, honey. B, are you there? Or are you fucking trolling? She's trolling. Can you stop trolling, B? God bless her. Now she's muted. Unmute. There, I asked her to unmute. I think she's trolling. Maybe she didn't hit share audio with the call. That's what it was. That's what it is. I mean, what? she's only been on here 900 times. Oh, she, she has? Seemed like she'd have figured it out by now. Oh. Yes, it does, Blue. They'll take care of it all. Every last drop. How about that? Every last drop, blue, blue. He gets fucking mad because I get PayPal and I get donations because he thinks it's his idea, blue, that G Mangos has PayPal because, because Bergs said, why don't you have PayPal? You need PayPal. 
And I never did PayPal. I didn't know what it was about. So, yeah, he told me to do it. And he wants credit. But if I, but if somebody PayPals me, oh my God, what does oh, yeah, he do? He, it right there. he takes a screenshot and he sends it to me. There she goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you believe that every time somebody PayPals me, he takes a screenshot and he and he texts it to me and he bitches at me? Really? Yeah. Who do you fifty five? Burbs, his fat ass. Why does he care? Because he didn't him. get it. Because he doesn't get it. You don't fix it, but a Boston girl. When you come in, you gotta. What is it? Wi-Fi. Hit select your audio. She knows how to do it. She's been here so many times. You've been on here before, B. She's trolling. She's rolling and trolling. What's up, Tara? Send Tara a link. What's up, Tara? Hi, Tara. You weren't hitting that button, Boston girl. Yeah, let, send Tara a link for me, please. Because my hand. Oh, oh my God. Lord have mercy. Yeah, he's a pocket watcher. That's exactly what he is, Cactus. A pocket, uh, pocket watcher. You connected the audio. If you can hear us, tell us in the chat that you can hear us. You just have to unmute. You remember, Blue, when I sent you that video, that recording, when he said that he was going to K-I-L-L Jill because she was on whiskey side panel? You remember that, Blue? And he broke his he was broke his glasses, started slamming on the on the table. And he said, Jill, if you were here, I would execute you. Because she was on whiskey's side chat. He's schizophrenic. Why do you think he was divorced? She divorced him in three months. How would you like waking up to a Sasquatch every day? Shit. Not today. A Sasquatch. He's a Sasquatch. Much love to you, Cindy Lopez. All right, Bridget, you have to click on the thing click down on. there where it says mute the up arrow and make sure that your mic for your headphones is chosen. Can you send Tara a link, Stitches? I already Please. did. Thank you. I don't know. She might be busy. I don't know. Well, she just texted me and said she needs a link. Well, I sent her one on Twitter. Well, we got another one. I can't figure out how to use Zoom after done use it 900 times. Tara knows how to do it, but she's got it on Twitter out of my hand. Hold on, T. Maybe she wants it on her phone. Whatever. I got, she got Twitter on her phone. I got you too. Ow, 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 ow. This fucking hand, man. All right, T. I sent it to you, love. Oh, my God. She broke the record. She broke the record on how many times in and out, in and out. Like Jenna Jameson. Yeah, all she she she's connected to audio. All she has to do is unmute herself at the bottom. Yeah, unmute. Did you hear that, B? Unmute, B. For crying out loud! If birds know how to, <laughs> come on, B. You've been on here before. Oh. Lord have They're all trolling us. No, Tara's not trolling. Tara uses Zoom every Sunday. She should be able to figure Hi, it out. Hi, Tara. Hey, Larry H. What's going on? Hey, guys. What's up, T? Not oh, my lot. God. 
What are you doing? Bad. All right. You know what? I had to. I had to agree that you were fucking live this whole time, and I didn't even see the button. <laughs> oh my god! What's up, Ter? Like the first. Time. Oh wait, I'm screen really recording nice. this. I had Bridget. every point to show you I wasn't lying. It wouldn't let me do camera. It wouldn't let me do video. Nothing. Y'all call me a liar. I had to agree that you were alive. I didn't see I that I didn't part. call you a liar. No. Nobody called you a liar. Stitches did. She says she does this all the time. Well, she, she should know she how does. I do. She's trolling. <laughs> You're right, Tara. She's trolling. That's no, I wasn't. <laughs> Where do you been? Hey, this girl is a liar. I had to like download like, Zoom and everything to be up been here. On panels, to be been on panels for We're, 10 years and you act like you ain't never done one. Yeah, before. normal ones, not boomer Zoomers. Get out Where, of here, stitches. What, 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 what do you mean was, normal ones? Who was that uh who was that dumb bitch you were that was arguing with you? Where's she? Listen. Come? Listen here, G, I'm all over YouTube starting beefs with bitches because this drama community's fuck is stale. I'm trying to give people some fights going, bringing them this way. B, hey, who listen, is... start watching Vegan uh, Patriot. That's that one's going. Thing. Who, dog is... at worms. who was that lady, B, that was fucking you with you? You know what, G? Which one? The one that was making up that full lie about me being an old lady gang calling police? Yes. I have no clue. She's from like that Aaron Carter Carter shit. Oh my god. She was trashed at 9 a.m., dude. 9 a.m. <laughs> oh well, then her and Lisa must have been having a party together. So I'm trying to get uh, them all together, get you guys some content. So Tara, I listened to you one time. Here we go. You guys got me off this shit. And <laughs> okay. I watched this vegan whatever her name was. Vegan right? Patriot. Yes. Yeah. And this crazy ass. <laughs> She parked beside a car too close to it and then yeah. got mad at the person in the car. I'm like, well, move to them. Why you park so Listen, close? Listen, and if you kept watching, she has a restraining order out against her oh, ex crazy as that dude. Right, right, but then she goes to that RV where yep. goat cheese and all them, Andy Dick and all them used to hang out. It's now the homeless RV. So she has a restraining order against this ex-boyfriend of hers. But she, instead of going to a home that has been given to her for a couple of months by her supporters, has right. decided that she's going to go to the her RV park, right. break into the yeah. RV. Whenever it's due. Yep, yep. Y'all be careful you. getting those uh, Walmart orders. You see her dog she shit. She couldn't get in through the door. So she broke in through the window and oh, crawled right. in the bed and laid there and waited for the ex-boyfriend to show up so she could... Press charges against him for breaking the restraining order. Did you order. see her get her ass beat by the new girlfriend? No, but I wish oh, I would have. She, she got her ass beat, but listen to this one. The other day, she does like, um, what's that shit where you get like Walmart orders to live in? Do I yes, and whatever? she was delivering, I think, right? She does deliveries, and she's got this little dog. <laughs> like, Maxie, but she's like This dog shit worms all over these people's order. This bitch wipes <laughs> it off with a, a handkerchief and brings the people their order. <laughs> this why I go get my own shit. Literally, oh, so, girl, so I said with... she's a she's thirty four years old. What's yep. her name, girl? Tell you, what's Vegan her... Patriots. And do you like her? Best. She lays in her undies and bra on the bed over there. She's, she's got, got a whole body. Hey, listen, but... let me say this: she's got a banging body, but she that does. face though, she looks like a fucked up giraffe. But she's got a good body. <laughs> You'll enjoy her. She's got and a nice body, and she likes to show fucking... it off. But and her face is that's, that's the girl that was fucking with Bridget. Vegas. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. Well, she's a, just girl? a new girl that's uh new. She's not new, actually. She's been around, but she's new to me. So I've been like trying to push her on all my friends. Like, let's watch this hot mess because it's messy. Send she me pretty much link. lives in her car. Sarah, send, send me the link. Okay. Too. All right. Hold the on. The IRL community, IP2. <laughs> Fucking I've been watching them fools for years. Bridget, Bridget yeah, look, she's dogs. live right now. Bridget, I'll send it to you. Hold on. Characters. They were trying to tag up on Bridget. I don't know who these women were. Gee, yesterday I was live, right? I was fucking around singing because this bitch goes to like VFW and sing fucking karaoke. She thinks she's like Whitney Houston, okay? So yesterday I was fucking around live, like singing. This bitch goes live yesterday and sang five fucking songs to prove that she sings better than me. 
That that's what? how you see how easy they had a trigger. It's fun. I'm telling you, I'm having fun what's over there, boy. See, what's I'm not name? gonna share her out. Yeah, I'll type it to you. I'm not sending her subscribers. You know how it works around here. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Next thing you know, she'll be on fucking Mark Terry's panel dragging me. Get going. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. And so, you know who all, you so who all up here called um, Lisa Landstream this morning? I never knew she went live. I, did. I didn't even know it's her channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need that, Tara. I'm going to need that. Oh, my God. She was fucking white girl wasted at... Oh, well, by the time I went in, it was 9 o'clock, and she had already been there drunk as hell. Listen, if ever oh. there was a pocket watcher in this community... Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lisa. Oh, no. Lisa is big, big, big mad at me in stitches. She's calling the she's calling the IRS on us. Haven't you heard? (laughs) What? I want to hear that phone call. She better be trash when she does it and record it, too. (laughs) Calling the IRS for what? She was and she was saying that my man is rich. First of all, I wish my man was rich. Shit. So what, what if he was a chameleon? What the hell is she? Ke- Why is he people she watching everybody's was, money? She said, I, "Let's see, what else did she say?" She said, "Oh, she said I was a junkie." But the biggest comedy God, phrase God. For, for me is when people think that I control stitches. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you don't? Nobody. I, uh, I've tried <laughs> and it didn't work out in my favor. So no, I don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nobody controls his ass. I, I it's it. it's I hysterical. Never, she was saying all. She was saying all y'all do is watch everybody all week. What? Okay, same as everybody else on fucking YouTube, watching everybody all week. I don't have to because you guys do. I just go to your <laughs> channel to catch up. Well, there you go. But why? But she wasn't. But she wasn't uh, bitching when you made all that money for her on PayPal. Oh, no. She what? was. She wasn't worried about the IRS when I was the one saying we got to turn this in because you've made so much money this year on your PayPal that I have to do a. And it wasn't even a W two. It was a E. Oh, I can't remember what it was now. Let me ask you. It this. was something else. Let me ask you this: Did she talk about how much money you and Stitches give out? No, she was saying, what do y'all do with that money? Well, let me explain something to you guys. How many Shit. people do we have in the side chat? You guys give uh, up. Okay, so to 120 it. people, I want you to know that this Sunday, this Sunday, we'll be giving out $125 to two winners for the Mean Valentine's Day contest. Right. So there's you, what you, we you, do with our you Y'all want to know what they do with it? That's how I'm up here right now. That's how I'm doing panels. That's how I'm live. That's what they do with their money. You know what else they do with their money? They help out friends without them even asking them. And they're going through hell in life. And they come out of nowhere and they help you. That's what they do. They 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 don't know, Bridget, what we do in the back. They don't even know what we do in the back. They have no idea. And I'm a prime fucking example of Lisa Len. When I was down and out, Taryn Stitches was there for me. What do you need? for me. And we didn't go showboating it and promoting and saying, look what we did for Bridget. Look what we did for G. No, yep. they're telling you now. That was months when ago. I my new room, I had flowers, I had baskets, I had this, I had that. Brock, Dateline, Stitch, Tara. Yep, yep, yeah. I got peeps that look out for me. That's real friends, not YouTube wannabe dream world friends. Everyone says YouTube is fake. There's no real friends. They're doing I, it wrong, G. I got they're better doing it wrong. YouTube than in real life. And that's a fact. And that's you a didn't fact. even have to ask because I know nope. I did it. Nope. No. I went to my new room and didn't I saw say a fact, word. flowers, goodies, treats from the circus. Where were you, Lisa Lynn? Little kukla. You didn't ask her what that. she's given anybody here other than a hard time. Well, you Rich Life better care. be careful. Allegedly, she might have given him an STD. I heard, but that ain't not my business. Maybe that's what she <laughs> meant when she said them three letters. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Today's Vegas Barbie's birthday, so I think we better give oh, her a little oh. happy two bucks. And Lisa, happy you realize, you know, hey, Lisa, the IRS. Stitches, hold down. on. Oh, I'm sorry. This is important to us. Okay. 21 hey, right? today. 21? Vegas Barbie's like she's going on 19. <laughs> I'm going to run with it. 
Y'all remember her little rogue video, no? I well, actually, I don't remember. I think she should do it again. Okay, you ready, Tara? Are right, you ready? One and a two. one and a two and a three. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear the baddest bitch, Barbie girl. Bitch, the Barbie girl. Oh, that I've Lord ever Lord. seen on a mama in between. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> So Tara, <laughs> what made her talk about you all today? What's her because fucking? Well, did I talk day. about her on Sunday? Because I don't think I did. I might have. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Oh well, let's keep her uh, talking about you. Go she ahead, about you. What I was gonna say is, Lisa, you know the IRS can come back and audit you for seven years. So maybe we need to have them check out what you did with all this money for the last seven years when you Thousands. was making bank. Yeah, when well, you. Well, first of all, bank. she got a couple of thousand just off a of norm. But then yeah. if you start adding up what people gave her on repeat all the fucking time, Lisa, and that's why I went to her and said, listen, we have to file because you've made thousands at this point over the last year and you have to claim it. Ooh. Thousands. And she didn't even send us our Christmas presents that she showed us on camera and bragged about getting us. She got thousands from this community and she couldn't even afford postage. But she want to worry about what I'm doing with my money from my what supporters. Did, and what did she give you, Tara, for, for you making her thousands? And, and She's and, never given me anything. I will be honest and I, I will it. say that Lisa did always offer me like to keep a portion. So it, she did yeah, offer yeah, it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. But I never kept anything because I never felt like the people that were giving that money to Lisa was oh, giving it to me and Lisa. I felt like they were giving it to Lisa. You should have got something. Bullshit. Do you, you do the you only ever... thing I ever got in that entire time I was friends with Lisa was when Jeff was there. Pagel. Pagel went out of his way and they sent me a nice float for my new pool and a little Nintendo game. Pagel sent me stuff when Pagel and Lisa were together. I, Lisa ain't never sent nobody nothing but a hard time. Do y'all ever notice the ones that pocket watch the most, the ones that never give nothing to nobody? Yeah. Yep. Like Lena like, Billings. And Bergs. And Lisa. <laughs> Bergs is another one. Yeah. Because she was just talking about Bergs before we got up here. He and, sends, and it's all Yeah, he sends me screenshots of when people donate, he bitches at me for getting what? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Yeah. Birds, we're going to mow your lawn and do some food shopping. Knock it off. We're talking it's about a fucking We're talking about a fucking guy who buys alcohol for underage children and he steals <laughs> money from the kids next door. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. And listen, like people say, you're still talking about Lisa, but actually the thing is, is I'm reacting to her. Why and it into the wall. And the... Do what? <laughs> so she went thing, live this morning well the thing is is that when she went live this morning like my daughter is off on Sunday and my daughter's probably going to come up and tell Lisa to go fuck herself okay because you know Lisa, Lisa likes to keep bringing my daughter up and saying how I don't have nothing to do with my daughter while we sat here together listening to Lisa's bullshit together this morning um Lisa likes to bring my family up. Lisa likes to call me a junkie, a uh -huh. whore. I've been with Tom almost a decade. I guess I'm a big old fat whore. Like she, everything that she's projecting onto me, that's you, bitch. Right. And if a you think junkie. I'm going to come up, she couldn't even figure out how to drop a link. But even if she could, if you think I'm going to come over on your dusty little no number having channel and help you, ha, no, ma'am. What? Why? Well, wait a minute, junkie. When did all this start? Why? She said, "I'm a junkie." That's what of they do, what? Though, Tara. They throw uh, everything they know wrong with themselves, and they throw it at you and hope it sticks. And people already know that's what they do. They're doing the same. Look at that bitch is doing to me over there. She can't even fit in her chair, calling me fucking fat. Oh she yeah, with craters in her face. Right, craters in her face, saying my makeup's caked on. Uh, she's got. She looks like trailer trash fucking Barbie sitting over there with that hot pink lipstick on, going to VFW to karaoke because her husband's seventy. Calling me desperate for men. This she's is what jealous. they do, girl. Because yeah, she's jealous. 
cheese jelly. That's why they hate on you. No, oh, she I'm going to go there. Jelly jelly G, I'll tell you that, Al. That bitch well, got she that. was that running jelly. her mouth pretty hard about me, and then I was getting clips from a specific person, and so then I went in there, and I addressed her in her chat. Well, that's why you talked about her Sunday, because she was running her mouth fucking the day before. So what about her right, so I addressed her, and I typed, I typed to her, and she skips over my comment and starts reading Mike's comment. And then she goes back and she goes, something, something, something. I'm not reading that book. We were trying to have a good time. She started acting like she hadn't been talking crap. The right. entire side chat was not on her side. And then I, I waited a few more minutes. And then I said, well, so you're just going to talk shit, but you're not going to talk to me. Blah, blah, blah. I got things to do today. I left. I was out of there about 10 minutes. I get another message that said, now she's talking shit again. But the minute she saw me, she was like, oh, we're just trying to have a good time. So you're by a pussy, talking bitch. About you and by talking about you, you don't bring up when her fucking daughter gives her black eyes. How no, Layla that? said, Layla said, Tara spends time with her daughter while your daughter beats you up. But you don't need to prove anything about your <laughs> fuck her. Nobody <laughs> believes that shit. Like I told you and Stitch. When I went live because Mark called you scammers and I went live and I said, dude, fuck you. Shut the fuck up. You have no idea about the circus. Nobody yeah, we're not scamming that. anything. We give out. We get a lot of great donations. We have wonderful supporters and I am humbled by them each Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and we take that money and we tally it up at the end of the month. We decide what we're going to give out on a giveaway. We deduct that. We split the other two ways, which isn't as much as you think. But then we spend the rest of the month super chatting all of it plus more right. or giving in the background. And helping people in the back room. Exactly. Yes. Oh. Yeah, but they do it open, too. I see Tara everywhere at Stitches dropping 10 20 10 20 10 yes you know just everybody that's live just just to just if to i come into your side chat you. i usually donate if you're if you're monetized yeah it's real sad what's up, it's Ooh, real i can see up here what's up buzzing it's real sad that she acts like she's some fucking angel while her daughter knocks her out gives her black eyes because she's drunk every goddamn Oof. She was drunk at eight o'clock this morning talking she crap on drunk. everybody. She was drunk when she went to that funeral, uh, Tara. A few months ago, they were threatening the aunt threatened to beat her up because she went to the funeral drunk. Oh, yeah. God. Hey Jasper, what's with the Lisa bashing? I don't know, Jasper. What was the Tara <laughs> bashing this morning? Just ignore him. We all do. Guess you missed Jasper. that, Jaspy. Guess you missed what that morning. I told you, Jasper. You better know your role. I love the way you say, honey. She was oh, dragging honey. me for everything <laughs> this morning. I mean, I'm a junkie whore. My daughter don't have nothing to do with me. I live off my man, which, first of all, he's so sitting what? right here. Hey, well, well, hey, he's sitting right here. Let me ask you. Do you pay for my nails? I get my nails. I get, my nails be on fleek. Do you pay for them? Hey, Tom Sully. Oh, I just How went and bought my, Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> I just went and bought myself. I just, we had a death in the family. I just went and bought myself a $100 outfit to wear to the funeral. Did you pay for that? No. That's what no. I don't understand. What struck her to fucking go off on you today? What is her? She's her jealous. She, she goes and watches us on Sunday and she sees us getting support and she's mad. Yes. Because when I left her, she couldn't figure out how to activate the PayPal. Even though right. she well, had all the Steve information was taking to get over into her TV it. and microwaves and stuff, Tara, at that time. So let's not <laughs> let's not bring that up. That was a hot time for her. What's up, Stefan? She's Love mad. She mad. Because she is pocket watching, not getting anything. And and this is what I told her um, Lisa, Lisa in her side to chat today. That feel? <laughs> I said, Lisa, the, the real reason you're so mad is because I am doing better without you and you're doing worse without me. Exactly. And that's why you're mad. Noodles is donating to you in the side chat, G. Um, that's not we enough. We take some Walter anymore, anyway. <laughs> we moved on to bigger, better things, I, bud. <laughs> he wants to become my doctor and give me my scripts. Yeah, he's all about what I take. 
Tara, I bet she didn't even go to bed last night because she was on Corey's all night too, the same way. I, I oh, so maybe she was, she was drunk, drunk from all night. night. Oh, yeah. She's friends with Corey again? I think so. I can't keep up with the with that girl, man. She is something else. Yeah, I, I haven't, haven't watched she's Corey in, in a rich while. life. Yeah. Is that still happening? Listen, yeah. uh, real quick, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a cringy plug here. Listen, today was supposed to be the last day for you guys to get your memes in. I'm gonna give you till tomorrow. Come on, get Valentine's that. memes in. Get your memes in. We'll do the video up before the weekend. I, it's Somebody seventy five dollars. It's seventy five. I can help you. It's just you can generate a meme generator. It's so easy. Yeah, Did tell you me seven <laughs> $75 to the first place winner, $50 to the second place winner, free money, free money. All you got to do is put a little time in to make me laugh. Well, tell people what they need to do, Tara, if cuz not No, everybody... it's about it's a valent we got a little behind because I had to have a procedure, so that's why we got a little behind, but it's a Valentine's Day meme. I have not received a single Lisa Lynn Rich Life meme. I'm disappointed since they're supposed to be getting married. Um, it can be a video, it can be a picture, it can be a meme. Wait a minute, I but thought like, she had another dude. It was this and Rich. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh. That was, yeah. yeah. Larry, can you like, you, Larry? Paris trying to do her commercial here. <laughs> no, you're fine. I just, we've got, we've only got a hand, two handfuls, uh, and I would like to have more. Yeah, let's not um, let Jake win again, guys. Come on, step your game up. Enough. Jake's won a couple of times. Goddamn thing. Yeah. <laughs> Jake always participates, though. Hey, listen, I'll tell you the one that Jake's turned in this time is actually funny. So, well, the, all of them that he turns in is funny, so I'm saying, Tara, get on it. To have them in by. You got tomorrow. I, I tomorrow or Thursday has to. Thank you so much, Kathy Rebill says. So good to see you, G, with a ten dollars super chat. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Kathy. Much love to you, honey. I'm sorry, Tara. Go no, ahead. you're fine. I would say uh, tomorrow or Thursday <laughs> because you have to give um, Dateline time to put it all together and make a video. So tomorrow. I love oh wait, you. let's read. Let me read Brocky. Jasper, put your helmet on. You say you weren't around for Tara and Lisa's beef, but you go in Lisa's and talk trash on Tara when you know shit about what happened. Oh, that's what you call getting called out. Jasper, you better cool it, Larry. You by the way, it. last last I heard about Lisa and Rich was on. Rich was on a uh, little hands panel over there, little little biggest podcast on Ireland, right? And yeah. he was saying Lisa was there, and she was, they were saying they would get married. And um, Real Stream News is gonna uh, do the wedding, so I, I don't know if the wedding or not, <laughs> but I hope it's in Rhode Island, bitch, because that's fucking driving distance. Let me tell you what, I bet Dave Twenty Five is gonna be the fucking ring bearer. I'll be there. I record for all y'all. Sort of. He's so irrelevant. That fucking Rhode Island. He's so. <laughs> Jasper, I'm just going to tell you this one time. You might can get away with uh, your little shenanigans with me and Tara, but once you get on Brock's bad side, you gone. You gone. Don't be fucking yeah. with Brock. Jasper, Brock you is the baddest modder in the West. Yeah, like, for example, Mark Terry went on Pagels, and I'll cover this on Sunday again, but Mark Terry went on Pagels uh, oh, after after we streamed on Sunday. He yeah. kept getting timed out in my side chat because, well, my mods are my friends for seven to ten years, uh, and they heard everything Mark and Tina had to say about me over time, right? Right. So Mark, went. he kept getting timed out in my side chat, I kept telling him to go put a troll account on. But he goes over on Pagels after our stream ends and he starts saying, Tara promised me a protection wrench. Yeah, I took his away. His gone. Well, okay. That was a lie, though. It, that was a lie. And no. then when he I was telling her, everybody, y'all were giving him a wrench, though, Tara. Yeah, people no, were and then I'm, he like, I'm telling on. you now that ain't happening. <laughs> well, no, it's not happening. Because and he was doing the same thing to, with us as he was trying to do with G to get a wrench yep. so he could go on thing and say, look, ha, ha, ha. Right, yep. right. Well, right. first of all, my wrenches are friends for almost a decade. And 
when Mark and all them talked about me and called me terminal and all that, it really didn't upset me. It didn't bother me oh, because no. I know that you're building Unforgivable. your own. You're building your own karma. But as far as like Brock and Carney and them are concerned, like they love me and they didn't appreciate it. Brock yep. and Dateline, okay, Brock and Dateline, that's their side chat. Yep. We have always said we're we're a group channel. It's not my channel. It's not Mike's channel. It's well, not Brock's channel. It's not Dateline's channel. It's our channel, okay? Yep. That's their side chat. And when I went to them and said... If Mark's not pulling any fuckery, just leave him be. Brock said, nah, not today, Satan. I went and to go get him, Tara. Up with Brocky. As soon okay. as I saw him, I tried to get him, and Brock already gone. And I said, damn, Brock, you fat. <laughs> <laughs> and you I want to get him one time, yeah. one time. Brock I never yeah. promised him a wrench. That. I never promised him a wrench. That's a lie. If anybody believes anything Teabag says at this point in time in life, then goddamn, you belong on YouTube. Come give, come, come visit me too. Do you don't know as well? Do you believe all them lies? I'm getting a divorce. I'm in a hospital with my leg falling off. Or my door just came out of the hinges and my oh. dog needs a new leg. Oh, I'll be right me. Come visit me. You're Can you imagine if that happens though, G? And Sidges and Larry? Like all of a sudden you see real stream goes live and this this rich life stand outside his RV with Lisa holding hands together in the middle and Dave twenty five <laughs> on the side hold a little rings from Walmart and they get married. That's funny. I I'll tell you. That'd be great. Can you guys do it in Newport, Rhode Island, where all the big mansions are? It's really beautiful over there in the summer. I'd like to take a trip. It's about fifteen minutes away. That's why Dave twenty five always comes in, comes in like says shit like you live close, why don't you pull up? One day he thought I was outside. Guess what he did? Called the cops. Yep, called the cops. He he called the cops. Me. Why? I was home in my house. Why did he call the cops? Because he thought I was at his house with my son that's going to kick his ass on sight. Wow. <laughs> Which it should have happened. <laughs> my wow. son's the same. Gee, my son's the same age as these fools. What a bitch. What a MMA, MMA trained fighter, by the way. But I don't tell him about this shit. If I do, he would pull up. Hell yeah, he would. But Dave thought what? I was like, he was making video after video. Bridget's stalking me at the supermarket. Bridget's outside my house right now. Run Dave, that mouth, though. Well, that's just like Abe trying to act like me and Stitches are anti Semitic and we're against Jews while we got a whole clip of him talking the worst thing he can on Jewish people. Why is he out there trying to redo uh, Blair Witch Projects by himself? What the well, fuck is that shit? <laughs> Next, you're going to see him up to the screen, right, Tara, real close. I don't know where I am. I can't <laughs> find nobody out here. And I got no <laughs> pain and no weed. Somebody come find me. It's like the Blair Witch Projects, but in the daytime. Abe said he had to clean up his property where the government came in and took all his trees, honey. <laughs> that sounds like uh what is it when you have to do it for so you don't go to jail what's that community, community service, community service. Uh, you better not slip up and show that orange jumpsuit homeboy community service you Abe was so that triggered cup with mad. the name Ryan on it he Let's was so triggered that. and mad because he was like so flexed it's the thing that makes me laugh really hard about a lot of these people around here covering Mark Tina for the last year, right? There's people that you can cover and you cover them a couple of times and they're humbled and they don't want to be called out for doing X, Y, and Z. And then there's people like Mark Tina and Abe who spend their lifetime being the most foul. So they don't give a fuck. Know, right. Penny. And what's so funny is that Abe sat up there and talked about raping Isaac in his N word ass. Yep. Sure talked did. about Jews talked about fuck the cancer kids. Like he said, all <laughs> these things. Right. And yep. because I heard that and covered it, I'm the asshole, not him <laughs> who said it. Well, he looked like a fool last yeah. night trying to do that shit to stitches on Pagels. And what he said wasn't even what wasn't even in concept for what he was saying. But he was all fucked up. You know how he is when he's driving. I told you, yeah, you don't come in. Well, that's why Stitches went up because he was calling me a liar right. and saying he didn't say that about Isaac. And so Stitches like, okay, well, hold on a second. 
You actually did. <clears throat> and here comes I- Nick. Here comes Nick out of all people. Homeboy, if you don't sit down, nobody missed you. Nobody <laughs> cried. Nobody what cared. You shot yourself in your hand, almost died. Get going. Nobody cares. Nobody what cares. I don't, what I don't understand, me and Stitches were talking to Abe a couple of weeks ago, and he said that he would work out things with Dateline if they had a one-on-one. And then five minutes later, he just goes ballistic on her. After See, he that's said, because he no, is- she didn't do the one on one, but in defense, I- in defense to Dateline, she did agree to go up and do the one on one. But then all of that CP sharing, right, right, yeah, all right. that stuff with noodles and all of them was going on, and it just cringed her out. And so she took a break and she left. And then by the time she came back, Abe had done talk so much more shit that she's like, fuck you. Well, let's I know. be real. He only wants her on panel one on one so he can attack her and try to make her look like a bad person. That's all he wants exactly. to do. And I wouldn't don't do have it. to steamroll her to make that right. happen because she's highly intelligent. Right. But that's right. all he wants. And if I was her, I wouldn't do it either. Nope. Yeah, right. I wouldn't give him the time. That's I all really, he wants. I thought he really did want to work things out with her. That's what he told me in stitches. And we believe them. That's like my Terry never lied to you, the G. Come on now. Actually, let me address Jonathan. Jonathan says, Terry, you are a liar. Punky Heathen has a wrench and she's no friend. Oh, let me explain something to you. Um, I said most of them, okay, most all of them have, are decade deep. But I will uh, go back and show you where Punky, I can go back to my exorcism video. I can go back further than that on my Terra channel. And I can show you Punky and Courtney both in my side chat seven years deep you made that whole account that's all you have my god what a waste of time would you like for me to show you sean the brit seven years deep Who yep. the fuck is Jonathan? nobody somebody who's too weak to come in under the Barney. real account and talk that shit yeah, all these people want to talk shit to us and about us but they don't have balls well, enough to come in their real channel or come on the panel because yeah, they're take cowards a yeah take a link Take a link. I'm up here. Big and bold, are you? Yeah. I got Hey this. Lisa, if you're listening, I'm up here big and bold on a good neutral channel where you won't get muted. You want to come up and say something? I bet you don't. Take a link, bitch. I got to a link, bitch. I got to five <laughs> therapy in uh 45 minutes. I got 45 more minutes. Out of the thing. Somebody go get her. I know she's uh, me and Brocky. Me and Brocky have been uh, friends a solid uh, six years <laughs> since 2019. Um, and the girl's done more for me than some people in my real life. What's up, Cammy? So you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Take a link, motherfucker. Let's go. Chop, yeah, come chop. on up here. Let's have a conversation about it. Chop, chop. Don't, don't sing it. Bring it. Don't judge. sing it. Bring it. That's right. <laughs> Vegas gee, what if I do a, both? On uh, my life, I sing it in, I bring it. Now what are you going to say, G? Now what are you going to say? It's like what I say to Abe. You you can keep sitting here feeding all of these people a uh, narrative that you want them to believe. Yeah, you, the can three people them that I for them. you can tell them that I'm the worst devil in the fucking world, but you negate to understand that these people have thinking brains for themselves and they've been watching me for <laughs> 10 years okay oh, and you're much, not Aaron. Oosh, they just can't find the whole thing Karen. much love to you my sweet karen Do oh, karen up. karen left because she thought i was going to come up here and that. talk about how she's selling my speed pick still and um the doc web which is uh teabags back oh. chat but I know she's not even there anymore, and I'm over it, Karen. So you didn't have to leave to play golf. Like I wasn't even going to mess with you. Hey, everybody, listen real quick. Hold up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey. Dad turned three years old this week. How many? How many? Three. Three years. Well, happy birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. Three. Yay. <laughs> oh, sweet little voice. Nice keyboard. Hi, Star. What's up, Star? He calls, he calls for Uncle Four. Is that like oh. Uncle Mark? And you know what's no? sad? Is that we can't share that with people because they use that against us. 
Yeah, yeah I can never show you guys how adorable he right. is. I can't trust it. But that is sad that, you know, because Sean the Brit would always get on me for showing pictures of my boys. And Sean was like, gee, stop. What are you doing? Same and then they you. started making troll accounts of your children. That's why he said that. Yeah, yeah, I know. They, they made a troll of my boy that was seven days old, Little Cruz. He was I seven remember years that. old. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Sean was right. You can't Sean do nothing. told me the same thing because I used to have my little niece. She's going to be seven now in a few in a week. But I used to have little videos with her on my channel. And he's like, don't do that. And I took yep. stopped, you know. And he I was said, right. I'm glad nowadays it. they're not there because they'd be using them. Gee, they're, yep. making a, they're making troll accounts. They So they went to my cash app, got my name googled me right the only thing you find my mother's obituary so they found a picture of my mom on her obituary they use that and they show me every single day um it's called bridget boston begging bridget's dead mother and it says her legal name um then there's another account called begging bridget's dead mom it's every single oh, day God. they told me with it oh my, every, God. my dog my dog that passed they took his picture and they put it in a trash bag and they said I burned him in a trash bag because I'm poor. Dog what? You had for what? Yeah. 15 years? Yeah. 20. Thank 20. You, years. 20. Oh. Yeah. Thank yep. you. And, and they troll me every day with it. Every Look, morning I, will, I wake up. I will give people like Mark and Abe and even Nazi Nick, I'll give them credit because at least they'll come up on the panel and, and not you know keep that going in the chat. Even though they make themselves look dumb, at least they still come up. Yeah, they got some balls, some kahunas, right? Yeah. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Tara. Much love yeah. to you. Thank I you. can't see chat. Did you say Star was here? Yeah. Hi, Star. Oh, my son's FaceTiming me. I'll be back, maybe. Hello, Starshine. Thank you, right, Karen. So Thank for you, dinner, Karen. I'm over here cooking a pot roast, some mashed potatoes, some homemade biscuits, some green beans, some brown gravy. What y'all have? That sounds good. Hell yeah. Now that sounds country to me, girl. I don't know if I can biscuits. Got me going, girl. I just learned how to make biscuits. I've been practicing, and they've been epic fails. And then the last month, I've been coming through like, oh. Well, the so real nice. question is, Tara, uh -huh. do you use Honey on them. I do if I'm making them for breakfast, but but let me tell you how you know you're really country. I use Crisco and God butter damn. in them. I'm making chicken cutlets, girl, but I ain't frying them up no Crisco. I'm using uh, yeah. I don't know yeah, whatever oil what I got around. You should be using Crisco. You should take the Crisco and put it in little balls, and then okay. put that in the biscuits like that, and then mix yes. it all up. That's the My best way to My nana used to make it that oh, way. Oh, it's kind of close. Something. It's like when you do the cold butter, like through the croissants, except you use the, the, the Crisco through the biscuits. My nanny used to make it that way. Exactly. But do you use butter, Crisco? Do what, What's Larry? That, Larry? I said, oh. do you, what, butter, Crisco? Yeah, I'm they have that for Crisco. baking. Yeah, no, and then so there, and then I follow this black lady on YouTube, and I cook all her food, and she taught me a trick my grandma didn't teach me. Like, you start to get your pan... Not hot, but just to where the Crisco will start to dissolve. And then yep. as you're putting your biscuit in, touch it on both sides with the Crisco and then finish it with the butter. Then buttermilk you ever, biscuits. Mm. You, ever, you ever watch a Hillbilly Kitchen? Yeah, no. I do. I do. Send yeah. it to me, Lord. I have for years. I'm making chicken cutlets. That's what I'm doing. Would you say send you the link? Yes. Yeah. All right. She said send her the link. But I, I've been watching them for years. Who is it? Hillbilly Kitchen. Okay. Now, listen here, G, Mr. Mangoes. You're going to learn how to make some biscuits from that lady there because... Woo, oh, she's got multiple. She's got two ingredient biscuits, three ingredient biscuits, four ingredients. It's, it's, it's no endless. ingredient biscuits. It's amazing. It's just flour and she puts it in balls and makes it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, what babe? With, um... What's up, babe, uh, honey? What up, what up? Oh, look who comes up because I'm talking about cooking and I'm probably going to have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. He's happy to steal it. Hey, don't stop with me I just, today. I just came up here to steal your lunch money. Give it up. Listen, what nobody is this man doing the boy <laughs> wrestling because I haven't gotten any notifications. No, of no, no, no. Because okay, he was in the well. hospital for a few days. He's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then he has basketball because he's actually a real coach in real life. So he's right. coaching. <laughs> so. I'm on his ass. I'm on his ass. Believe me, I'm on his ass. Like, listen here, old boy, we got to get going. But that's I'm not a I chicken cutlet, Starshine, if it's got ketchup on it. Don't yeah. stop with me today. 
Why? You don't put ketchup on a chicken cutlet. Not on it, but I dip it yeah, in it. Tom Selleck does. Hell really? yeah, I do. And Tom Selleck puts ketchup on his ham, and I see, he told me, because he's from the north, that this is a northern thing, because who eat the fuck puts ketchup on their turkey, their What's ham? Up? Not who me. Who puts ketchup on that? Not me. I, I mean, I throw a hot sauce cut on like, I, God, I don't even put ketchup anything. on that. Shit. No. I, I dip my cutlets in ketchup. Sure do. Size of oh, no. That's up, that white you? people sauce. <laughs> yeah. Don't judge me. <laughs> I feel judged over my ketchup. <laughs> I judge Tom all the time. He ate today. He came back and he was, I had made um, herb chicken in the oven last night. And I had leftover chicken. And put it in the fridge. He comes home for lunch. He shreds it all down and covers it with ketchup and nukes it in the microwave and throws it on the biscuit I made. And I was like, you just ruined everything. Ruined it. <laughs> yeah. Well, who dips ketchup and ham? No, not me. I can't do that. No, Never heard of that one. No. Mustard. I dip it in mustard. I dip ham in mustard. Oh, that's all right. I would rather do mustard than. Wait a minute, ew! You don't have a mustard and ham sandwich. No, 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 no. no. You mustard right. on a ham sandwich is good. Yeah. I'd rather than ketchup. You right. You right. You right. Okay, lunch meat ham and a spiral ham is two different things. So it yeah. depends on which ham it is. I did both things. Come at me, bro. She does both. <laughs> I will sit there, oh, goddamn who, Easter, and dip my ham in mustard. What are you gonna do about it? Who puts you probably use Miracle Whip to you, nasty ass. Who oh, puts dude. ketchup on their steak? Not me. I Not do. me. First I of like all, I pref- shouldn't need any seasoning, yeah. but if it does, A1 all the way. Miracle, I Whip, Whip, Miracle Not Whip is out. Not Mayonnaise. There's only it's one mayonnaise, and that's Duke. I know. Okay. Duke's man. Do Duke's not just call me out with some mayo on live. We never on even had this conversation before. I mean, Stitches both know Duke's is where he's at. Well, prefer- we don't have Duke's up yonder, so I don't have Duke's the only mayonnaise. About- hey, Bridget, let me tell you something about that Miracle Whip. Oh, I, I said like you had food on Big Mac's morning. That ain't I, what you put I, on I a ham no, sandwich. I, I, I prefer... <laughs> In craft, craft in the start hell. rumors. <laughs> As you better say allegedly about me using that miracle whip. I, I prefer <laughs> barbecue sauce on my steaks on the grill, but I will put ketchup oh, on it if it's dry. Sting, I've never tried that. Yeah, I'm a sewage well, you, you, you put barbecue sauce, sauce on beef, sauce right? Steak. So why not? No. Yes, yeah, so and when it cooks in, it gets that glaze on it. No. Hell yeah. Jesse Lynn needs medical help. Put no damn um, barbecue sauce what? on any kind of beef. Jesse, yeah, she said mayo is disgusting. <laughs> oh, I love mayonnaise. Me too. Love, me too. That's why I'm going to sue Ace because you just did uh, defamation on me by saying I eat Miracle. Why well, you don't want to eat mayonnaise with sugar in it? <laughs> I'll start a GoFund. Help me sue Ace for taking my lunch money for like six years now. And then, then he defames me over some Miracle. Whip. Well, Kimmy, I think I started putting you. I started putting ketchup on my steaks, A, because it was always overcooked when my mom made it, and B, because I put it on my cheese steaks. So what's you the put difference? You ketchup on your Philly cheese steak? Yes. That's yeah. Not Why? Not What's wrong with that? My family would have steak and cheese with ketchup on it. I don't do that. I get mayo on it. It must be a northern thing, I'll tell you what. Well, some people like, you know, pizza sauce, you know. Northern people and Southern people eat vastly different. I'm Southern. I was born in Virginia. My family are hillbillies. Well, then get your shit together, Larry, because you're losing where you born and raised (laughs) from, son. Put the ketchup down, be (laughs) man. Put Put down that there, be the You are such a shit talker. (laughs) The one that says I use Miracle Whip, the nerve of this guy. I like Hellman's or Kraft. Fuck Miracle Whip. I like Dukes. Yeah. Dukes I cannot is find that up yet. I use Dukes. Yeah, Dukes is and, good. And Heinz is the only ketchup and mustard I use. Yeah. And as far as like I eat pepperoncinis with every fucking meal. And it's the Vigo Greek peppers. I don't yeah. know if I'm saying that right. But they're the best Greek peppers on the fucking planet. I eat they're them good. with every meal. Yeah, they're good. Uh, 
Yes, Frank, you are correct. See, when I it's like for a thousand dollars, okay? Don't like get it twisted. Too, but I'm more of a jalapeno kind of person. Oh, I love jalapenos too, Stitches. You know, I like Don't it. Forget spicy. Frank would do it for a view. <laughs> Frank, you better see how I drag your ass. You don't want none of this today. You know Frank, how like or... people put um you know relish or whatever in their tuna fish? Right. Yeah, I put diced jalapenos in mine. Yes, I do. I put diced jalapenos and diced pickles in mine stitches. Oh my god! I think we're see what happens, right? Genetics. The only thing relish goes on is a hot dog. It doesn't go into anything else. And it turned all into food. That's no. what he does, everybody. Next, he's gonna be stealing your lunch money on you. In Watch. The, in North Carolina, we eat hot dogs with mustard, onions, chili, and slaw. Oh, that's nope. how. That sounds real good. We do mustard, onion, relish, and celery salt. Celery? I have little... That sounds good. Gee, I hate celery. I hate it. The only thing day... that was missing was a little bit of cheese. So, like, yeah. Well, we have a lot of little hot dog stands around where I live. You get yeah. like two hot dogs, whatever topping, bag of chips, and a Coke for like four bucks. I love it. Uh, but uh, I, I hate celery. But one day the lady put it on there. And I'm telling you, it made a difference. I, I hate celery, sounds... too. That sounds good, though. That's strangy, well, Bridget. In North no Carolina, Tara, we eat slaw on everything. Hot dogs, barbecue, hamburgers. Absolutely. Yeah. Stitches, you are absolutely. I'm not even from North Carolina, but in the South, on your hot dog, on your barbecue. hamburger, on your barbecue, throw the slaw on. Yeah. Kimmy, that's the only way I can eat it, with peanut butter on it. What? Well, listen here, y'all can keep your slow because up here we got what do we get up here? We got cow up here. We got clam chowder, corn chowder, uh, cod chowder. We got cow. Who's ever slow. had a Who's ever had a cheeseburger with peanut butter on it? Oh, no, absolutely! That shit is so good. Yeah, Wait, I never. Really? Sonic's has it right now. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes, a burger ma with peanut butter on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's I don't thing. think I don't think I could do that. It's a thing. So, yeah. so layer it for me. If I'm going to go make it for myself, am I going to like spread the peanut butter on my meat? All hey, right, so this is how you do it on the yeah. bun. The bottom, the bottom bun, you got to put mayonnaise on. Then you put yeah, your gosh. burger, then you use cheddar because cheese. Because you're going to hit the bottom, okay? And then you but spread the... Uh, Elvis Presley did mayonnaise, <laughs> peanut butter, and banana, and it was delicious. So they, so Ace might be on to something. Let's have it. Go ahead. So you put your burger down. So you put your, your bottom bun's got to have mayonnaise on. Then you put your burger down with your melted cheddar cheese. Not that, not that cheap wrapped up cheese food. It's got to be real cheddar cheese. Okay. Then you put your peanut butter on. Put some lettuce. I didn't do the tomato, but it did the lettuce. I'm gonna tell you what: the sweet and the salt goes perfect together. I believe it. I'll have to try it. I'm curious. You got a Sonic near you, Tara? Yes, but I'm not right a fan. Now, they're doing peanut butter burgers and they're doing pulled pork on top of burgers. But I'm a lot of people do meat. I'm a I, I have a Culver's and I'm a Culver's girl. Most people I know that. Tried that, like he said, the peanut butter burger with it's like uh, cooked onion and but I'm whatever curious. sauce. They saying it's good. I yeah, I, a pe first of all, if you do your history on peanut butter, it was a decadent. It wasn't like a peanut butter and jelly thing in the beginning. So I could believe that it would go really good with those yeah. type of things. Sweet and savory. Enough I'm from the north. We do fucking peanut butter and fluffing that up here. We'll start with your jelly. Keep it down <laughs> south, all right? How are we doing? Uh, I didn't know that jelly was a southern thing. You haven't tried yeah, it. Is. You gotta try it. Yeah. Man. We fluff our nut, We make it from scratch down here in Canada. Oh, I love See, jelly, peanut butter I don't jelly. really it's like great. jelly. What? I'm more of a jam person or preserves. I like preserves. Yeah, too. strawberry. I yeah, the farm strawberry the preserves. Oh. I agree. Black in the berries. summertime, the, lady, the oh, old ladies over here at the farms, they make their own. I'll eat that shit right out of the jar with a spoon. So yep. good. It is. Bet you will. Pepper I bet jelly. I will. Berry has the crunch. Pepper jelly on a cheeseburger? That's oh, my shit. God. Gee. Pepper yeah. jelly over cream cheese with yes. crackers. I've had on it. A tris I've on a triscuit. I shit. It's delicious. Fucking delicious. That's that good. Makes me hungry. I gotta go cook now. God damn. I'm over here <laughs> cooking right now as we speak. <laughs> That's good eating, baby. I Bridget's can't be hungry because I stole cooking. her lunch. 
I haven't had lunch in like five years. Y'all think I'm kidding? Baby, wow. Ace, can you do us all a favor? Can okay. you do Rich Life again? Proposing to Lisa though, and then we'll find. Uh, I could do real stream because I already did. A, I already did a thing of him, and I'll be him, and I'm gonna marry y'all. Can we get that going? We need to find a day twenty five. Larry, would you like to fill that in? You can be the ring boy. There should be. All right, listen. Though. I got. I gotta go, guys. Listen. Say, Grandma, I want you to come outside. Right, bye, Tara. Grandma's got to go outside and play. Bye, Tara. So I have to let y'all go now. Later, Tara. Happy, Happy birthday, you. little buddy. Nice love talking to you guys so much. You Talk to you later. Bye. 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 Look, tell him, Colt. Say bye, everybody. See you, buddy. Bye. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Later, buddy. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right, Have we go. I'm going outside to play. Bye, y'all. Bye. Oh, I got hey, Bridget. Pizza. Bridget, you can't say nothing else about your lunches because I I've traded them lunches in for you for some Reese cups and Red Bull. You see the OG how they treat me? Karen's I over there it. selling my feet picks. This guy's stealing my lunch money and flipping Everybody it for Reese's cups right. and Red Bull. Yeah. Everybody's in your ass. I Everybody. see Everybody. This is why I'm leaving YouTube, folks. Yep. She now, gone. He, now he's up here slandering me that I no, use some kind of funky mayo G and you oh, allowed dear. it on your panel? Oh, I dear. can't believe it. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. That's why, I, that's why I was sent a link to come up here to be that's set up by right. Ace. Yes, yes. Say it again, oh. Ace, so I can record it. What kind of mayonnaise? That's how we roll. What kind that's of mayonnaise how we roll, baby. That Set mayonnaise has up. got sugar in it. What kind of mayonnaise Miracle do I Whip? use? Say the, say the name brand if you got balls. <laughs> Fuck Miracle Web. That shit's Would you yeah, it? Yeah, I don't Did like I it. It's nasty. It stinks. Dang. Miracle Web stinks, too. Ugh. Thank you for staying out of the stitches. I knew you were a real one. He's real. We're all about? real. You cool. He's cool. Gee, lately right, on everybody. YouTube. Listen, much love. It's I been more get like, out fuck you, here. fuck you. I like you. I'm out. That's what it's I'm that's out. <laughs> you love lately. you guys. Pain, I love you guys. Love you all. Later, y'all. I'll see all you guys right. a little bit.